welcome to my next video. My traveling Guatemala continues. I'm gonna hike up the volcano at Acatenango and we're gonna do a city tour in Antigua. Enjoy my video. Guatemala City is the biggest city in the country. At the same time, the capital is divided in 22 zones. And here we see the Plaza de la Concesión, which is a nice place to visit. Hang around and see some historical buildings. I spent my time with this great family. We cooked together, we had so much fun. We played the local game Lotteria, which is a typical Sunday activity in Guatemala. Today we're diving into the incredible city Antigua. Antigua, guys, is like stepping into a time machine. Picture this, cobblestone streets, epic architecture and colorful markets. Fresh markets where you get local food for a decent price, nice to discover. Oh, wait a minute, I know another place where you get great, sustainable, healthy food. It's the Eco Farm close to Antigua. You can spend a day there with family and friends, relax and enjoy the food. The fascinating part for me was the mushroom farm, the mushroom farm of Majid. He's growing a dedicated variety of mushrooms. You can't believe it. I've never saw these mushrooms before in my life and they just taste amazing. If you want to learn about it, I can put a course in the description which you can do where you're going to learn like about caring and growing the mushrooms. Let's go on a city tour. Okay, first we're going to pass by the Iglesia de Majid. It's a church known for its colonial architecture and historical significance. After walking a few minutes through the beautiful streets of the World Heritage City Antigua, you get to a little park, you pass through the park and then you get to the iconic landmark, the Cathedral San Jose. It tells a lot about the history. The construction already began in 1542, but was interrupted by multiple earthquakes. The current structure was built in the 18th century in the Baroque architecture style. Close by, you're gonna find a laundry facility where the people in the old days washed their laundry. In general, it's an interesting area to observe daily life and immerse yourself in the local culture. Additionally, there are several antique buildings and ruins in the vicinity that are definitely worth to visit. These historical sites offer a glimpse into the rich history and architecture of the region. But hold on, especially for the nature lovers, get ready to be amazed. Outside of the city, you will find majestic volcanoes and lakes. Wait a minute and I take you to my hike up the volcano Akadenango, the hardest and most epic hike I've done in my life. Hello. We are on the way to Lake Aritlan. Lake Aditlan, located in the highlands of Guatemala, is a breathtaking natural wonder. Surrounded by volcanoes and indigenous communities, the lake is known for its tranquil atmosphere. It has been a source for inspiration, artists, writers and explorers for centuries. The surrounding village, such as San Pedro, glimpse into a rich Maya culture and the art scene there are numerous of talented painters who have captured the beauty of the landscape and a sense of the local culture through their artwork. Morning! It's 5 in the morning, we're getting ready to hike up the Volcano San Pedro. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's do it. Made it to the top. We're walking here to a coffee plantage, which is super cool. Maybe I can show you some coffee. Oh, here, but it's not. So pick one. Oh, yay! Is a coffee bean? Uh, it's really tasty, it's sweet. It's like taro. So that's the entrance. And we basically made it. We took like six hours. That's cool. That's like how far we went. Oh, nice. 1,200 meters. We took six hours up and down. We're hiking back to Antigua with the chefs of the national team of Guatemala. Mama. Morning! It's eight o'clock and we're getting, getting ready for going up to the Acatenango volcano to see the 
lava tonight the magma so we're going with altitude so i'm gonna pack this tent right now yeah what i said we bring we have like a uh, sleeping bag we have the mattress we have four liter of water cooked already yesterday for having lunch and dinner and uh, like really really warm clothes because it's getting cold there like the start point is with 2400 meter and then you walk up uh, to I think the peak is 4,000, but the camp should be um, below that. So we're on the way now, and um, we try to hitchhike to the entrance from to the volcano. We're gonna make it to the little volcano. I'm not sure. Uh, we didn't pay yet, so I guess it's over there. So we're following this group here. After half an hour, you reach like this little restaurant here, where you can get drinks and some food, coffee. You just follow the path, like go around this restaurant, around the house, and then the way should be kind of obvious. So short update, it's still steep going, it's super warm and if you rest it's getting cold quick because we're already like 2,400-500 meter high. Yeah, so my travel mate left, um, yeah, like a rule you always should remember, don't rely on anyone. Making my way up there. Hello? I made it to the top. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> and like over here, it's okay if we go and um, you can see the eruption and then the night I'm gonna see the lava. So I'm gonna put my, my tent here, like they were so kind to leave me sleep, let me sleep on their platform here for 50 kisadas because like my originally travel mate, I basically have no idea where it is and um, that's okay. I have the food, I have everything what I need and I'm super super glad I met these other people. I barely can imagine I made it, my luggage was so heavy, I had like because I had to carry everything on my own. More than 10 kilogram, I think, yeah. Just erupted it like every 15, 20 minutes about. It erupts, it's so amazing. Volcano Fuego. Volcano Agua. And I got an angle. right now I think the way down is pretty easy it's just straight and the way is obvious they're bringing things up here these horses look really poor so a short video to the ending um, if I would do it again I'm not sure like I would do it again but but different conditions like having a travel mate to trust having someone to share the luggage especially like things to share like tent and food um so i'm so dirty um but still it was super worth it to go super worth it like to see the fire in the night how it explodes like it always you can feel it feel like the air is moving and i don't know it's so intense you have you have this huge fire and the whole volcano is glowing and <laughs> 